Good afternoon. This is Kent Blaylock with SDG Replays coming to you in my backyard. It's a fairly mild day here in North Carolina. The heat is down. It's only in the 80s. Uh, the humidity is down. So I decided I was going to spend some time outside, let the dogs run and play, and then continue with my Retro Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship of the World Tournament. We are in the first round, and we're going to continue in the first round, uh, this 16-man tournament. And we're just going to grab two matches today to further us into this tournament. And our first matchup is going to find Barry Windham facing off against Road Warrior Hawk. So let's go ahead and go to the screen that we'll be playing on. As you can see, I have uh, a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet that I've set up. It's uh, got uh, the dice rolls, every dice roll that's needed in this game. Also, it has uh, a moves counter. Uh, if you can see to the right, uh, these will be uh, no time limit matches, but uh, we will be able to estimate the time of the match by the moves uh, going by the uh, match time limits that are given within the game. As you can see, Barry Windham facing off against Road Warrior Hawk. He has a 90-point PowerPoint advantage. He has a, a greater move set than Road Warrior Hawk. Hawk has... Wrestler specific notes that if Hawk is hit with either a ram head into a turnbuckle or a pile driver, there's a 75% chance that he no sells it. Hawk will make the 2D10 roll, uh, 1 to 75, it's a no sell, and 76 to 100, he takes the, the damage. If he no sells, he shakes it off and walks slowly toward his opponent. Hawk automatically wins the next two control rolls. This can only happen three times per match maximum. So that's the only uh, wrestler's specific note. So we go into this matchup, Barry Windham, Road Warrior Hawk, and we'll roll for initiative. Oops, that's the wrong thing I was supposed to be hitting. I'll be right back with you. So Hawk wins the initiative. Check something real quick. Yeah, we're going to have to remove me from there. We don't. Sorry, I forgot I can't do that. That'll remove the audio. So uh, let me get the right screen up. What do I want? There's what I want. Sorry about that little uh, faux pas. So Road Warrior Hawk has the initiative. And he rolls a 33. That's a punch to the head and neck of Barry Windham as he pounds him with lefts and rights. Again, I am going to double the points. Those punches were worth eight points, so that'll be 16 plus four. That's 20 damage to Barry Windham as Hawk comes out firing, firing away. And he still has the advantage, and he hits him with a clothesline. This is a finisher. It's a plus 20 move, so that is going to be 43 damage. And if he gets the next control roll, 
and he does. He is going to go for his pin, and this is an early pin attempt. So it will be a D level move on zero level. So the the pins are six thirty one and ninety eight. And he kicks out uh, quickly after di just one. And Hawk still has the initiative. Hit, he throws him out of the ring for 24, 30 more damage, tossing Barry Windham out of the ring. And we go to the out of the ring chart as the action is hot and heavy early as Hawk is all over Road Warrior, and he's going to choose to pursue him out of the ring. So he's going to roll an 09. Both wrestlers fight one another, exchange, exchanging punches on the outside as the referee counts. They each re try to return in time only to get pulled back outside of the ring. Neither wrestler makes it out and both are counted out. And that's not how I want this match to end. Uh, but it that's the way it ends, folks. Both these wrestlers have been knocked out of this tourn tournament on a double count out. Barry Windham and Road Warrior Hawk have seen their hopes of this tournament dashed on just too aggressive outside the ring, neither one getting back in in time as they are counted out. So you never know what's going to happen in the squared circle wrestling simulation game. Barry Windham, Road Warrior Hawk, have exited this tournament. Stay tuned for our next match. Well, welcome back to our tournament. Well, well, that was not the ending we wanted in our previous match. A double count out and Barry Windham and Road Warrior Hawk see themselves out of this tournament and both wrestlers left the arena in disgust and disgust at one another. I think we will see uh, something going on between these two later, possibly in some singles action and maybe some tag team action uh, with Barry Windham and Hulk uh, being counted out as they brawled outside of the ring. That brings us to our second matchup in this first round of wrestling. And that is going to be a matchup between Ron, Hands of Stone Garvin, and one half of the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton. Uh, interesting matchup, uh, probably a matchup between two wrestlers who are more uh, allies than enemies, but that's how the tournament falls, and that's how the seating fell. And uh, we'll see Ron Garbing face, facing off against Ricky Morton. So we go to center circle as these two men face off. Ron Garvin and Ricky Morton. As you can see, Ricky Morton has the larger move set, but Ron Garvin does have an 110 point, 110 point advantage uh, with his power points. As you can see down at the bottom, I have it uh, where it will figure uh, the power points, uh, you can see the first level one for Ron Garvin is 608, as for Ricky Morton, it's 520. And you can see the breakdowns there. As we go into this match, both men shaking hands in the center of the ring, wishing the other good luck as the bell sounds. We'll roll for control. And it's going to be Ricky Morton 
right away with the control. And I got to find his sheet. I've got Ron Garvin's, but I don't have Ricky Morton's. I thought I had it here with me. One second. That's my faux pas. There he is. I didn't take him out of the book. And my other sheet went blowing away. One second. That's the only thing about being outdoors. You have to deal with the environment. So Ricky Morton has control in this matchup with a roll of 85. That's a big move right away. He throws him out of the ring. We don't want a repeat of this last, this last match. That's 24, that's 25 damage to Ron Garvin, and we go to the out of the ring chart. Let's hope for no low rolls as Ricky Morton will pursue him out of the ring. And here's the roll. Watch that 85. It's a 77. It's not a low roll. Control winner, Rams head into steel post. Both return to ring. His own head is rammed or he rams the other? His head is rammed. So Ricky Morton's head is rammed into the steel post and he gets 40 damage of his own. So he should have kept it in the ring. He still has control with that roll of 14. He lifts a knee into the gut of Ron Garvin for 12 more damage to Ron Garvin. And now Ron Garvin gets into the action with a high cross body as he throws Morton off the ropes. He hits him with a cro cross body that is going to be a pin attempt. It's an E-level pin attempt. Morton is still above A-level, so, I mean, uh, level zero. So it's 11.36 and 99. So There's one, and he kicks out at two. Ricky Morton kicking out at two, and Ron Garvin still with the initiative. Hits him with a backdrop, 20 more damage. This time to Ricky Morton. And Garvin still with the advantage. As he's down, he kicks him to the back, throwing out friendship. This is to get to the heavyweight championship of the world. That's 20 more damage. And th this time, we go. No, that was the second move in a row. Okay. This time. Ricky Morton with the initiative. Morton with that roll of 42. It's punches to the face of Ron. I get in a punching contest with Ron Garvin, but that's 22 damage to Garvin. 
And this time, Ron Garbin will fire back. with chops to the chest of Ricky Morton with 24 damage. Excuse me, we'll be right back. Sorry about that little blip in play. I had to uh, grab up the computer and take it in, take the game indoors. Weather's fine. I just couldn't see the screen well enough to be able to see where the results were and where we were at in the match. And that's not good if you're trying to call the match. So Ron Garvin back in control with a roll of 72. He backdrops. Ricky Morton hard to the mat. That backdrop hits him for 33 points. And with that backdrop, Ricky Morton is now below level one. And Garvin, again, in control. And he rares back and he headbutts Ricky Morton. And Stuns Morton with that headbutt. He hits him for 17 more damage. And he does have control and momentum. That's two added to the roll. And that'll get him just past Morton with that 18 to 17. And that roll is 75. A headbutt again as he rears back and hits him for 17 more damage. He's taking it to Ricky Morton, but Morton now has the initiative. He fires back with punches to the face and body of Ron Garvin. For 23 damage to Garvin. Hard punches. And Morton still in control continues to punch away at Ron Garvin for 20 more damage. And that will take us to our wrestling raffle chart. Morton was plus one, so it makes it five to five. We'll go off uh, Morton's roll because he was in control. That's going to be 93 on the wrestling raffle chart. The wrestler with the least amount of power points remaining rolls on a on an offensive move and nails it. Triple the damage done to your opponent. So we're going to roll for an offensive move and triple the points. So is it re reverse a, a tom, atomic drop? So that's going to be 24 damage done to Ron Garvin. And we'll have to double that. So it's not 24. It's 48 damage done to Ron Garvin. And Garvin is now two points away from being a level one himself. But he takes back the initiative with an elbow to the back of the head of Ricky Morton. For 11 damage to Morton, as this is a back and forth match, tightly contested between these two combatants and Ron Garvin with that roll of 90, rolls him up in a small package. This will be a pin attempt if he gets the next initiative. No points. If he gets this next initiative, we're going to roll for the pin. And he does, he does get the initiative. So on level one, E, we have a roll of 11, 31, and 97. 
There's one, two, and he kicks out at two and a half. That roll of 88 was high. Now Ron Garvin, see if he can, he stays in control, does Ron Garvin as he continues to mount the offensive against Ricky Morton. That roll of 74, he backdrops him once more for 20 more damage to Ricky Morton. And he's still in control with chops to the chest of Morton for 24 more damage. As Morton is getting close to level two, it is still Ron Garvin in control and he does an arm drag and throws a wrestling move into the mix for six more damage. And he continues this time just pulling the hair of Ricky Morton, that mop of hair for two damage. And he's still in control. The abdominal stretch for eight points, 16, 17 points, but it counts as two moves. So we'll hit him with 17 and then a zero as we're 20 moves into this match. And Ricky Morton now firing back with those punches again for 24 damage as he's the one who is punching the hands of stone Ron Garvin and he continues in control, continues to punch away for 23 more damage. But Ron Garvin says, I'll have no more of that. As he fires back with those deadly chops to the chest for 20 more damage to Ricky Morton. Who is now below level two. But he has control. And they grapple for two moves. No points as Ron Garvin wrestles away control again, that roll of 50. Now he starts punching away and those hands of stone Ron Garvin hit him for 25 damage. As now we go back to the wrestle chart and because Ron Garvin was in control, we'll go to his 68 wrestling chart 68. Says free tag in a tag match. The wrestler with the fewest points can make a free tag. If this is not a tag team or multi person match, roll again. Okay, we're going to roll again on the, the raffle chart. 56. The wrestlers are in the ring, bury each other in a ground game, grappling and reversing moves, chain wrestling for 10 moves. So we're going to hit them for 10 moves here. We do five with Morton. One, two, three, four, five. And let's do five with Garvin. And we'll see after that last roll who has initiative. One, two, three, four, five. And it will be Ron Garvin's in control as we're 36 moves into this match now. Ron Garvin, with that roll of 40, continues those chops to the body for 24 more damage as he's beaten Ricky Morton's chest red. And he continues to go on the offensive as he's battling away, as Morton is bent over, he lifts a boot right into the chest. He kicks him hard in the chest 
for 15 more damage. And then forearm shiver to the face of Ricky Morton for 11 more damage. Hits him with that forearm. And as he's been over, he hits him with the sleeper. This is a finisher. 40 damage, 46 damage. And it's an E finisher. And he's now at level three. So a level three finisher for the pinfall as the refs lifting the hand of Ricky Morton up to see if he can finish this match. Level three on an E finisher, 11, 28, 90. So roll number one, one, two, and he kicks, he lifts that arm and he's still battling away. And he spins out of that move, goes on the offensive himself as he punches Ron Garvin square in the jaw for 23 damage to Ron Garvin. But Garvin fires right back with punches of his own that are more damaging for 21 damage to Ricky Morton. As Morton is taking a lot of punishment here and he hits him with the knockout punch, the hands of stone, a 101 point finisher. He hits him with the hands of stone. Down goes Ricky Morton. He's all the way to level four with those hands of stone. Level four finisher on an A move, a one, six, and 53. The count is one, two, and 53. That will do it as, does it have to be higher than 53? No, that 53, he, he will do it. Ron Garvin came up with his finisher, hits him square in the jaw and lights out Ricky Morton. Morton taken out by the hands of stone, Ron Garvin, as Garvin laid out Ricky Morton and finished that match. So that's the conclusion of today's rounds. And more to come as we'll be going into the second round. The thing about Ron Garvin now in this uh, tournament because of the double count out of Barry Wendell and Road Warrior Hawk, he'll get a free pass uh, into the semifinals because uh, he will not be facing anyone in the next round. So Ron Garvin uh, has... Uh, an easier path now with those two out of the mix. So stay tuned as we continue in this exciting tournament using a squared circle, a pro wrestling simulation. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a blessed day. Soli Deo Glory. Great.